Hello there and welcome to another Commodore 64 playthrough. This time we're going to play through the game Empire. Now this game often gets confused with Elite, which was also released by Firebird a couple of years before Empire, because it's a similar type of game that you're a space trader, you go and complete missions, um, kill aliens, that sort of thing. But the two games are completely separate. There's nothing the same about them. It wasn't the same developers or the same plot. It's they just happen to be safe in the same stable. So what is Empire? So Empire is a game where your primary objective is to visit systems, star systems, complete missions, trade with them, shoot lots of aliens, and eventually, as you progress through the game, you can actually yourself purchase systems, you know, buy star systems, and then the very last objective is to build what they call the galactic frontier, which is this big shield across every planet, and then that's to complete the game. It's a very, very deep game. It's very, very in-depth. There's lots of things you can do. There's lots of upgrades for your ship. Um, the, the map is vast, you know, lots and lots of planets you can go and visit and, and star systems. It's also a very involved game. It's not the sort of thing you can just dip in and do 10 minutes of and, and go away. You could play this easily for 100 hours. And I may do a long play of this uh, at some point because it, it does deserve it. Downsides of the game, though. It's very repetitive. You'd end up doing the same things over and over and over again. If you haven't got the manual, it will make no sense to you because you're basically, uh, you know, left alone and it's not obvious what you need to do. And also some of the, the, the mechanics of what you need to do, um, the, the space travel is very tedious because you have to go through asteroids. Also, the um, I'm just going to start the game. Also, the, the it uses a very sort of it's like um, it's like thrust. So you've got this inertia thing going on, so you don't immediately start and stop. You know, it's they are slows down and speeds up, which is great. So the first thing I'm going to do is visit the star base. So um, and I'll just show how all this works. So you've got your little counters at the bottom left and the bottom right. So SB stands for star base. So it's basically giving you the, the show, showing you how to get to the star base. So I'm just going to go and go there now. Great. So I'm at the star base, but you get two maps as well. So if you press T, you get a system map, so you can see the star system you're in the different planets and you can zoom in and out and you can set pointers so that you know where stuff is and then the other thing that you get is you get a galactic map so you can see all the all the sort of planets that you're in so you the one that we're on at the moment there you see is blinking and you can move around and you can um see all this the idea is you've got to try and visit as many of these systems as as possible and how do you do that well um, first of all, traveling within the SAR system is relatively straightforward. You just have to be careful that you don't crash into the planets or to the sun in the middle. Um, that's nice and simple. Uh, but the main way that you progress through this is by visiting the star bases and either trading with them or completing missions. So it's the, the way you visit a star base is that you position your um, spacecraft in the middle and then you tilt it so that they're aligned up and down. I'm hoping that will be fine for them. Yep, there we go. So you get to see it. So there are two different types of star systems. There are alien star systems and empire star systems. This is an empire system because they're friendly and they're going to talk to us. You can trade with an empire system, but not with an alien system. If you kill enough aliens in an alien system, which are those little brown spacecraft, you can actually convert that back to being a... Um, uh, back to being an empire system you also get medals and all sorts of great things but um, that's the general idea so i'm going to do so this is our first mission so a, a princess has been kidnapped by aliens to return to the star base so you notice on the right hand side now bottom right it says xx so this is the pointer for our mission the little face and the little pointer shows us the way to go so off we go and complete the mission let's go and rescue the princess why not and this first mission is almost like a sort of default standard mission Oh, there you go. Crashed into a planet. Not very good. Um, no harm done, I suppose. Um, so this one is always the first mission. And with it, you get a trading pass, which allows you to trade with um, the systems. And how you trade is you go down to the planet surface, pick up materials, people and ore, give it to the star base, and then they make stuff with it. So it's quite it's that's quite a cute little way of doing it. Um, the, only, the other reason you would visit planets is to pick up ore for yourself. Top right hand corner of that triangle is your fuel reserve. So I'm just going to save my state just in case I die. So what I'm expecting to see is three brown alien spacecraft and a pod. A pod looks like just a bit like an at sign. And the pod is the thing that the princess is in. So I should be there. There we go. 
So I need to release my docking ropes, cargo ropes, whatever you want to call them. I need to do it. Sometimes the best way of getting these in is just to ram them because they can be a bit troublesome, especially when that is. The eagle eyed amongst you will notice that this is very much like asteroid in terms of the sort of design and layout of it. I seem to be slightly struggling here, so I'm just going to turn around. Um, once you get the knack of it, this is quite sort of straightforward to do. What you don't want to do is to shoot the pod, because if you shoot the pod, then obviously that's mission over, because <laughs> the princess is dead. So I'm going to get that. That's great. So that's him. So it, you'll notice also you've got different um, things, that sort of meters on the left-hand side. So you've got your energy and you've got your temperature. Your temperature goes up if you get close to the sun, or if you fire your gun too many times and on the right hand side is radiation and shields so we need to keep an eye on them as well so i'm just going to pick up this pod before they start shooting at me again it can be a little bit fiddly oh come on yeah this one's not playing ball also because you've got this inertia thing going on it's a little bit awkward so i'm just hoping that that there we go so we're on there so now we want to go back to the star base which is the sb thing bottom left hand corner with the smiley face or the frowning face and as it gets lighter you're getting near as well so this is our first mission complete so what we do we go to the star base the star base will pull that in and it will um will then be able to visit the star base and they'll say congratulations blah 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 blah. it's not a linear game you don't have to do anything in a set order um, but what happens is that um, you get radio messages from different star systems and they will have a, a a mission for you to complete now depending on how close the star system is to you dictates whether you can take it on or not because missions are timed you only have a certain amount of time to reply to the um to the request but then also when you pick up the request then you need to uh, complete the mission as well within a certain amount of time so that star base is pulling that in and then all i'm going to do here is i'm just going to um very gently get in the middle my controller seems to have an issue with this as well when i turn left it also um seems to move forward as well which is a bit annoying it's not maybe it's a setting i've got here wrong or something i'm not sure so there we go so i'm just going to move that in am i close enough is it going to let me no didn't think so it's going to move forward a little bit there's quite a few tasks in this that are repetitive but as you progress through the game you do get add-ons and power-ups that speed up the process of docking and, and going between systems which i will show in a bit so yes welcome back so i press my little mission button and i get a trade pass brilliant i can't trade because you need to get these three values in front of you or minerals and people up to 50 percent and if you do that then they can make stuff for you which is great so that's one way of playing the game as i say the other way of playing the game is completing missions so what i'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the planet and show you how that all works. So I'll just just get my little pointer. This what this is a really nice function as well is this pointer. So that little flashing circle you can put anywhere you like, and then uh, press number one, and you'll see it says PO for pointer. So you can follow it. So if there's somewhere specific on a map you want to go. You just do that, which is quite handy. You can also just have lots of fun blasting aliens. The more aliens you blast, the better score you get. You also get medals if you like get loads of them. Oop, I'm going to hit the planet again. If you get close to the star bases and start close to the planets as well, you also end up, um, the aliens disappear. I'm assuming it's because they couldn't have both on the screen at the same time. So here's the portal to the planets. This is how we visit the planet. So this is like a sort of tunnel that you go through and you've got to get within a certain uh tolerance uh, and unless you're an absolute terrible gamer and i am a terrible gamer you should be okay about getting in there because it's just left or right making sure that you get in the middle of all these little things um it's very similar to the uh, first level of aliens the us version has a similar thing that is much much harder though <laughs> so here we are so we're onto the planet surface so three things happen the first thing happens is that you end up um having to avoid all these trees which again just like everything else isn't that much of a deal second thing you need to do is get rid of all these missiles and then the third thing we're looking for we're looking for um white triangular pods now you don't want the green ones because the green ones take you back to the uh to space 
we want to get white ones. Now, again, this is a, it can be a bit repetitive, a bit tedious, this, because you, um, you're in no real risk of getting killed by those missiles. But then, oh, I want some people. Oh, and I missed it. Well done, me. Uh, <laughs> too busy talking. Um, so uh, it is a bit repetitive, but sometimes you need to do it. Also, sometimes you get a mission to go to the surface. So you have to sometimes do this anyway. And then the final thing is that if your ship becomes low on fuel, you need to go to the surface and get an ore pod, which is the one with the O on it. So I'm just going to see this can be green or a pod. It's going to be green. I don't want to leave yet, so I'm just going to move myself across. So, yeah, and you can use warp modes or increase speed on your emulators if you want to. I, I, I used to play it on 200% just like all the time because once you get the knack of it, the controls are pretty easy. And I've missed that pod again. So I'm gonna, You can slow down as well, which is the other thing. So I need to be careful. Yeah, so I've got minerals. Great. And I'm just going to get one more. Chances are, by the time I pick these up, um, th there'll be a message on the radio to go to a different system. Whether that system's within reach or not, I, don't, I won't know until I actually get there. But um, we'll have a look anyway. So I'll see. So there's minerals, people, and ore. And the idea is you want to get them up to... Um, oop, don't want to go over there. You want to get them up to 50% for everything. You know, it, it's... it's Fun in a way, I suppose, but you could end up being absolutely bored rigid by this sort of thing. Also, there should be no missiles left soon as well. And once you clear a planet of missiles, you never need to do it again. So I'm just going to see. If this doesn't work, I'll just go back to the surface because... Um, oh, there we are. Got ore. Now you've got to be careful when you pick up the radioactive ore, your ship becomes radioactive. And that's what the, the R meter is on the right-hand corner. So you've got to be quick. You've got to pick up the ore, go, and then come back again. So, oh, and I've got people as well. So I've got one of each now. Yeah, planet cleared of missiles. So there we are. So now I could do with a green one, just so I can get back up there. There's no other way of getting back up. You have to go through a, a, a green pod, an exit pod. There it is. So there, we're back to the surface. And now you'll notice that the pods are there waiting for you. The only slight problem is that there'll be lots of aliens as well. And we need to get rid of the aliens. But then what you don't want to do is shoot the pods you've just got. Because obviously that would be a bit annoying, wouldn't it? So Starbase and the Tor wants us to report there. So let's have a just have a look. I just want to show you where the pods are. So there's the pods. And let's find where our Tor is. If it's close, we'll go there. So, uh, okay. So that's us here. Flashy, flashy. And that's Unu. That's not close. That's Marabi. Creve is Q, whatever that is. Koras at all, so it's it's all the way over there. Uh, no, I will, if I can trade and get something, then I will um, I will go and visit it. But um, um, I'm not particularly bothered at the moment. So there we are. So this is the I picked up some people. Nice, know those people in a pod, isn't there? You know. <laughs> We are. And now I want to go back to the star base, so I press 1. So my little counter goes back to star bases and things. So, yeah. As you upgrade your ships, you can get upgrades that do... Um, they they give you better ways of doing this. You can get a ship that has, like, the capacity for up to 10 pods, which makes the life a lot easier. You can also get double ropes and the ability just to go over a pod and it will it will pick it up for you you know so it's not like you have to do this it's like a bit, a bit like elite where you can buy jump drives and all sorts of things you know docking computers it's the same idea with this you know as you progress through the game you can do more and more with it so i'm just gonna let them pull that in uh, as i mentioned before you can play this on warp mode or something if you want to once you get the knack of it because it, it's a pretty it's a pretty sort of um, repetitive game. Say so my controller again is 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 doing. I'm going to try to use the joysticky bit. See if that's any better. Yeah, it's doing it again. <laughs> it's annoying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, let's use the. I'll use this. You've also got to be a little bit careful that you don't trap yourself between the two, because you can actually die doing it. When you get to um, these little star bases it's can you can actually save your game if you're playing this on a real commodore 64 so now i'm going to say i want to trade so we don't have enough materials so it's not being very specific is it but there we are so um i'm going to go and i'm going to go back to my pointer and i'm going to go and get that so yeah yeah i do think it's my controller because i'm using the sort of oop, bang i'm using the sort of joysticky bit of it 
So I'm going to do this again, and then if this doesn't, um, if I can't get anything from here, then I will do a little bit of Insta Seller travel to show you how that works. It's not as exciting as it sounds. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. Oh, cool. Right. So let's see. So let's get get some of this. And let's oh, maybe it's seventy five percent that I need to get to. I can't remember. I'm just going to try and pick up some ore. Now, as soon as I pick this up, my little radiation thing will go start going mental because um, I've got this radioactive ore, and obviously, if you pick up more than one. It's going to get there. The simple solution is just to drop the ore. You know, if it gets too high, just drop it for a bit and pick it up again. And I'm sure there's add-ons you can get further down the line. There we are. Yeah, I'm not going to. There we go. So they can pick that up. I know that they'll complain about there's something else that they're missing. So, you know, as I say, it is a bit tedious having to do this a few times, but um, as you progress through the um, the game, you get add-ons that will speed this up, so this isn't too bad at all. So, you know, we're sort of 16 minutes into the into the game, and I'm still in the same sort of system, so you can get the idea about how you, uh, how you play this. I'm also not aware of any cheats or anything. So let's see what else do you want. Trade, fire to select. Oh, I'm going to get something. How exciting. So hyper smart or a shield generator. Uh, I've got no idea what a hyper smart is, and I've got no idea what um, uh, a shield generator is. Um, I do know that the the whole point of the game is to build, as I say, a, 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 to put a, a massive shield around the the system. But so I'm going to click hyper smart, and there we go. So that was exciting. So I've got no idea. So I'll click on pods. We have no pods. You can leave pods hit there as well. Which is quite exciting so i'm going to leave here i don't even know what hyper smart is so i'm going to go pick it up and i'm hoping that the game will tell me because i you know in all my years of playing this i've never had this one before what is it then hyper smart bomb yay how exciting i have a feeling it's a one-time only thing so anyway that was exciting so i'm going to go back on my galaxy map now and then um see where i can go next i will probably go to onu so, which is on the right so how you do that is that you go uh, basically you go um, in that direction the system that you're in so I'm, I'm quite close anyway to there as you can see there so I'm just going to set my pointer there and go to the edge of the map and then follow the pointer um, as I say it's up to you you can you can just hang around the same system collecting things to trade with shooting aliens um, yeah it, it, there's no no hard or fast rules but what happens if you end up in this like asteroid field? I'm just going to go through here, near the edge of the system. Yeah, so you, so these blocks are meant to be asteroids, and then you've got your two counters at the bottom, two points at the bottom. So you've got the old system and the new system. And what you want to do is just creep forward, so you don't you don't want to get too fast because you can end up ricocheting off these things, and then off you go. So this is really tedious until you get the add-on. And the add-on is allows you to um, it would you just fly through them basically. What you can also do once you get that is then do that in combination with say like a warp mode or increased speed speed mode on your emulator, and then you know it, it, it takes a lot of this off. Especially if you think about I don't know how many systems there are. It's something like you know it looks like about a hundred. You know it's a lot of systems to go and visit. Um, the systems by the way are always the same. So uh, it's not procedurally generated. It's always the same map. So if you print it off the map, it would be the same for subsequent levels, which is quite cool. So you get to know the sort of the names. Um, not all the systems are friendly. Some of them are, are run by aliens. And also those aliens that you saw, there's three different types. There's a brown one, which is relatively easy to kill. And then there is a silver one, which is harder. And then the white ones, which are horrific. But you get add-ons and upgrades for your um, your ship, which should help you deal with them. So I should be now um, being a bit of a pain, but I should be now back at the system. So what will happen now is you see another system map, so you know how many stars there are and so forth. And then you can go and uh, have a look. So obviously I'm there, and what I need to do is I need to get myself close to a planet because I need to refuel. Because you can see that my little... Um, 
my little uh, fuel cans at the top left is getting a bit low. Um, as I say, I could go and blast some aliens if I wanted to, but that's very good. So I'm going to just put myself on warp for a bit because this is, this is, as I say, it's the tedious part of this. Um, if you did get a, a radio message, it would just straight away flash up with an alert, which is quite cool. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to trying out this this hyper bomb, seeing what it does. So I must be getting close to a planet now. So here we are. I'm just going to go back on the system map and see where I am, and zoom in. De -de -de. Uh, okay. So I need to put my little pointer there, and then I won't be far away from the portal. Shame I didn't get a radio message because I would have liked to have uh, done a, another mission. So off I go onto here, and then we go through back through the planet. So it's the same same thing as what we did before, really. You go through the little tunnel, wish, 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 wish. It's quite interesting with Firebird. Firebird were actually part of BT British Telecom, uh, and they sort of uh, set up their own division to release software. And the most famous game, um, as I say, was Elite which was originally for the BBC Micro and then was ported to other um, other systems, such as the Commodore 64. Uh, but they, they Firebird produced many, many really, really good games um, until they were bought out by Microprose. So, yes, all, all, very, um, all very interesting. So here I go, through there. I will leave a link to the instructions as well. I, the only instructions I found online were for the Spectrum version, but the keys are exactly the same. The instructions all apply. It's the same game. It's not like you need to worry. Um, it does actually say when it's not the Spectrum. Oop. Oh, I needed that. I needed that. Silly me. Those of you who have seen my Space Harrier video will know it's very similar. <laughs> yeah, and just as good as well. See what's going to come up here. Oh, or yeah. So that's 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 my ore now for um, refueling. So that should top up my fuel. And then if I get a green one, I'll go. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, more ore. You can also carry these pods just around with you if you want to. And as you leave star systems, but the problem with the um, ore is it's radioactive. So therefore, you're going to have an issue with. Um... Oh, that's annoying. It's not actually um, increased my fuel. My fuel mustn't be low enough. Oh, that's really annoying, that. Unless if I pick it up, it does it. But I don't think that's how it works. So let's, have a, let's go find out where my pods are. Uh, okay. Let's have a look. No. Some alien shooting at me. Yeah, it's not going to... It's not going to work for me, is it, this? So I'm going to go to a star base, get rid of this ore. Okay, and get rid of this ore, and then at least um, I can get something back for it. Plus, you never know. Visit another star base, and I get something. So as I, I, I do fancy doing a long play. I may need to get a few sort of shortcuts, a few sort of... Um, cheats just so i can bypass some of this because it is an interesting game once you get the the add-ons you know once you sort of speed up some of this um they're also going to take my um other pod as well which is not very nice of them uh, are you gonna get it or not are you gonna get it here we go champion yay so let's go and see what um what the story is with these guys so my fuel's really low, so I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't get the um, the add-on for it. I suppose next time I can just fly around for a bit until I run out of um, fuel, which is fair enough. Yeah, so they pulled in that other one there as well. So I could store that other one here if I wanted to, um, or I could... Uh... Oh, that's annoying. Not quite in the middle. Or I could uh, take it with me, so that's quite handy, especially if you when you come onto the later levels where you're, you're basically building a shield generator and everything. So there we go. Yes, what would I like to do? You know, mission. We have no mission. <laughs> what a shame. Um, you, they won't be able to build anything because they don't have enough stuff. So here we go. We don't have enough yeah materials. That's fine. And then um, pods. Fire to select, return to end. And there we go. So that is uh, Empire. 
as I say, it's, it's quite um, it's a, a misunderstood name uh, game, but it is uh, quite involved once you get into it. Uh, it's just a case, I think, of uh, persevering with it until you get all the add-ons and everything else that you need, using a few cheats, using a bit of the emulator to tools or whatever you've got available for you, and then you can, um, you know, you can have a lot of joy with it. But uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a fun game. And as I say, I may do some sort of long play later. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.